Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to look at active transport. Active transport. Alright, active transport. Do know that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. It's all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions so you don't need to go and get past questions. It has what a classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus so that you can study so you don't need to go and buy textbooks. They have question set feature where you can set for question according to topics. And the question that Jamba set under that topic will come out for you to answer. Is that not interesting? Then, of course, we have, of course, the mock challenge every Saturday that will conduct for all students that are writing Jam. For a particular year, you compete with your mate, you win amazing prizes, get used to Jam pass questions, get used to how Jam set that question, get used to Jam likely exam questions, and of course, you see your, your results released every Saturday. So you're able to work to build your confidence towards the main exam. That is a wonderful package. If you, you don't need to tell me, me I know say now best package when you figure with that as jam students. Alright, so please jump on the app immediately, download it, and activate it for a small fee. Alright, do not be stingy to yourself. Okay, please decide that you want to succeed this time all right and do all you can to succeed then look at active transport please if you have not liked this video like this video if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe all right and keep sharing all these videos so active transport what is active transport i'm sure this will not be the first time you're hearing about it but before i talk about uh, what active transport is let's see a question from the old school jump app this is a 2021 question number 13 2021 number 13 say in active transport in active transport, molecules move against a concentration gradient. Therefore, they say, A, molecules move from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. B, molecules move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. C, the concentration, of, the concentration gradient has little effect on the movement of molecules. D, molecules force their way through special channels. Do you know the answer? Okay, we will know it after the end of the class. Please stay put. I'm going to answer that question and many other questions at the end of the class. So what is active transport? I will say that what? Active transport. Active transport. Don't mind my war handwriting. Active transport is the movement. The movement of molecules. Movement of molecules across a cell membrane. Across a cell membrane membrane okay from a region of lower concentration concentration to a region of higher concentration of higher concentration you see that what that active transport is the movement of molecules across a cell membrane from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration against the concentration gradient. Against, please take note of that, against the concentration, concentration what gradient. All right, so very simple definition. Please don't tell me that you cannot remember it. So active transport to save the movement of what? Molecules across a cell membrane from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration, all right? Against the what? The concentration gradient, okay? So it moves against the concentration gradient, all right? It moves against it, all right? So now, what's there for us to know? There are two types of active transport we want to take a look at, okay? Number one is what is the primary... Active transport and number two is the secondary active transport. Okay, so these are the two types of what active transport we are going to look at: the primary active transport and the secondary active transport. Now, what is the primary active transport? The primary active transport uses the energy from the breakdown of ATP to transport molecules. This is the energy from the breakdown, okay, of ATP, okay? The primary active transport. So you say the primary active transport, all right, uses what? The energy. Uses the energy from the breakdown of ATP, from the breakdown of ATP. You know what ATP is, right? Idenosine. I'll talk about ATP before. Idenosine triphosphate. Okay? 
So we said that what the primary active transport uses what the energy for the breakdown of what ATP to transport molecules to transport molecules across a membrane. Okay, against what concentration gradient. Okay, so say what the primary active transport is the energy. The energy it uses for what for the breakdown of what adenosine transphosphate. Okay, the energy currency for the cell. I'll talk about ATP before the energy currency for, for the cell. That's what the, the energy that what the cell is to what to perform what different activities. Okay, so the primary active transport uses the energy from the breakdown of ATP. All right, to transport molecules across a membrane against against the concentration gradient against the concentration gradient all right eg of course you have a sodium potassium or pump in animal cell an example is the sodium an example is the sodium potassium pump okay in what in animal cells Okay, that is an example of what of a primary active or transport. Okay, so the potassium pump. Okay, in what in animal or cells. Okay, so that is primary active transport. We say there are two types of active transport: the primary active transport and the secondary active transport. We say the primary active transport uses the energy from what the breakdown of what adenosine triphosphate ATP to transport molecules across what in the brain against the concentration gradient. And an example is what sodium potassium pump. In what sodium potassium pump 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 p u m p in what in animal cells. Now let's talk about the secondary what active transport. The secondary active transport is uh, is a kind of what active transport uh, that uses electrochemical energy. The secondary active transport is a type of active transport that uses what electrochemical energy. Okay, secondary. Active transport is a kind of what active transport, active transport that what now that uses electrochemical energy. All right, that means that what they move, they move in the direction of increasing electrochemical potential. Okay, they move in the direction. Okay, the, the, the molecules move in the direction of increasing electrochemical potential. All right, so secondary active transport is a kind of active transport that uses what electrochemical what energies. Let us see some several examples of what of active what transport. Number one is what movement of what Ca two plus ions. Yeah, movement of Ca two plus ions. Out of the cardiac muscle cells. Okay, this this one example of of active or transport. Okay, several example of active transport. This is one of them. Movement of what calcium ions out of the cardiac muscle cells. Also, transportation of amino acid. Number two, transportation of amino acid across the intestinal lining across the intestinal intestinal lining all right so say what number one movement of ca2 plus ions okay out of the cardiac muscle cells okay two transportation of amino acid across the what intestinal lining of what of the gut okay of the human gut of the human gut of the human gut okay so transportation of amino acid across the intestinal lining of what of the human what gut is another example of active or transport also secretion of proteins all right we also see another example is in what secretion of proteins like enzymes okay like enzymes uh, peptide hormones, peptide hormones and antibodies, hormones and antibodies. All right, secretion of what of proteins like enzymes, peptide hormones and antibodies from different cells, 
from different cells. Okay, that's another example of what? Of active transport. So, it's of proteins like what? Enzymes, peptide hormones, and antibodies from different cells. Also, functioning of the red blood cell. Functioning of the red blood cells. Okay, our the red blood cells uh, help to, uh, to guide us against what? Uh, uh, um, diseases. All right, help to fight what? Diseases. Okay, so also it's an example of what? Of active transport. So, we can say what? Functioning of what? Of the red blood cells by protecting by protecting our body by attacking disease causing what microbes okay by attacking disease causes uh, diseases causes my uh, disease causing microbes i mean to say okay so that is also an example of what of acting or transport all right so we can add that functioning of what of the red blood cells number four and say functioning of the red blood cells in in protecting our body, okay, and fighting and fighting against fighting against what disease causing microbes. Okay, so that's another example of what of active or transport. Okay, by fighting what disease, what causing what microbes and other what uh, another foreign invaders. Okay, so these are what examples of what of active transport. Movement of CA two plus ions out of the cardiac muscle cells. Transportation of amino acid across the intestinal lining of the human gut. Secretion of proteins like enzymes, peptide hormones, and antibodies from different cells. And also function, uh, functioning of the red blood cell, functioning, sorry, of the red blood cells in protecting our body and fighting against what disease causing microbes. Okay, so now let's take the question from the OTD School Jam app so that we can end this class. Uh, 2021, question number 13 again. And it's been shown on your screen right now. He said, in active transport, molecules move against a concentration gradient. Therefore, molecules move from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. B, molecules move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. C, the concentration gradient has little effect on the movement of molecules. D, molecules force their way through special channels. And the correct answer there is what is A. We'll talk about acting transport, the movement of molecules across what cell membranes from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration against the concentration gradient. All right? So please, that is where we'll stop for today. All right? In the next class, we're going to go into nutrition. All right? I'd love to see you in that fourth class. Thank you for watching and see you there.